For many gamers, reaching the rank of diamond is their goal. It shows their achievement, proofs to the friends how good they are, and it's the entrance to the upper echelon of competitive play. Usually players don't just pick up a game and get that rank within a year. It takes many, many years and hundreds and thousands of games to master league, or any game for that matter, in order to reach the top 1-2% to of players. I've reached diamond repeatedly in three different games, League of Legends, Valorant, and Apex Legends. And there are different principles I've learned through my climbs over various seasons that I want to talk about in this video so that you can increase your rank fast. I will mainly be talking about League of Legends, but the general concept will work for other games as well. Hey guys, my name is Snoda, and if you want to get better at League of Legends, then consider subscribing. We're going to go over three major principles to help you climb as fast as possible. The first one is focus, the second one is math, and the third is grinding well. And no, this video isn't clickbait. I will show you how you can do this in 30 days at the end of the video. Focus. One of my biggest downfalls as a gamer is just playing often and playing whatever I feel like. In League of Legends, there are a bajillion champions, and they are always getting buffed and nerfed so the best champions come and go in the meta. I fall prey to picking up new champions that are quote-unquote strong in the meta, or I just play champions that I feel like in the moment. And you might think that if you're a good player that you can pull this off. And that's partly true. The best players in the world have such a good grasp on the game and how it should be played that they can pick up a champion and figure out the best way to play it by the time minions spawn. They have a game plan that they're ready to follow even if it's their first game of ranked with that champion. For us mere mortals who don't have 60 hours a week to scrim and play ranked, we need to be a little bit more intentional with our games and that's where our focus comes in. We need to focus on one to two characters. This could be two champions in the top lane that preferably have different play styles to your team. For example, the two champions I'm playing in solo queue right now are Fiora and Maokai. Maokai is my blind pick and my default because my teams usually look to me as their top laner for tankiness and engage. But if I can get a good matchup as Fiora or I have an engaged support or jungler, then I'll pick her. But these are my two, the only two that I'm playing on this patch. And occasionally I'll shake it up and practice in normals, but this patch, those are the two that I'm playing. I don't have time to constantly figure out how to play the new flavor of the month champions and execute on their game plan flawlessly. But I do have a decent foundation in this game, so I have a strategy I follow on both of these champions and this probably increases my win rate by about 3-5%, to which doesn't seem like much, but over the long run, this is a multiple division difference. And if you want to know a little secret, most of the players that get to diamond get there by one tricking. It's a very powerful strategy if you purely want to increase your rank. Focus also entails more than just keeping your champion pool small. It includes having a well thought out game plan for how to play the game. If I'm playing Fiora, I know that I'll have a big advantage if I can get a cheater recall after three waves, so I go into the first wave with the goal to either poke and look for a kill or shove the third wave into the tower and back for a cull. Then I chill and focus on CS and look for a kill at level 6. Then I continue to farm and then in the mid to late game I focus heavily on split pushing and try to apply as much pressure as possible on the enemy team. Having a game plan like this is very important because it allows you to have a roadmap to follow in your games to find success. Most players let the game come to them and they try to figure out what to do after the punches are being thrown and that will lead you to constantly 50-50 in your games. So if you have a plan on what to do the instant minion spawn, you'll have a roadmap of what to do in the matchup and what to do in the lane. If you have no idea how to create a game plan or how to play the champions you want to, then I would suggest looking at challenger VODs of the 1-2 to two champions you want to play. If it's the top lane, then figure out what the challenger player does into a range matchup and into a melee matchup. This matters because there are some very basic fundamentals that go into both of these matchup types, so watch VODs and just copy what they do into different matchups. You might not understand it at the beginning, but as it works out, you'll start to figure out why that player does what they do, and from following these great players, you'll slowly start to fill in your knowledge of the game. Okay, now let's talk about the math of climbing to diamond. Let's say you are an average player in Silver 2. What would it take for you to get to Diamond? Well, if we assume that you gain 20 LP per win and lose 20 per loss, then you would need to go on a 50 game win streak to get to Diamond. If you were Silver 4, it would take 60 games. Now let's be completely honest. That's probably not going to happen, and even for most pros, that's impossible because of the high variance in solo queue, but this shows how many games you need to win in a row to get there. And you might be a little discouraged after hearing that, but let me stop you before you leave because there is an easier way. It might take a little bit longer, but it's easier than going on a crazy long win streak. Let's continue the story that you're silver to zero LP. You are 1000 LP away from Diamond 4, but that doesn't mean you necessarily have to go on a 50 game win streak to get that 1000 LP. 
It just means that you need to win 50 more games than you lose. So if you play 500 games over an entire season, you would need to win 275 and lose 225. That would give you a win rate of 55%. This is totally attainable if you're focused when you play and stay super disciplined with your small champion pool and the game plan that you created beforehand. You see, most low ranked players think that diamond is some ethereal rank that they will only ever dream of, but they haven't considered the math of what it actually takes to get there. And when you look at the math, you realize it isn't that crazy. You just need to figure out the LP differential between your current rank and where you want to go, and then figure out how many games it would take to get there. If you don't think you can get a 55% win rate with the focus champion pool and game plan, then just extend it out a little bit and you'll have more games to play, but a lower win rate that you'll need to attain. Okay, so we figured out our champion pool, our game plan, and how many games we're gonna need to play, but how do we actually grind? How do we grind well over these 500 games or whatever? I mentioned earlier in the video that I have a bad habit of playing a bajillion different champions in ranked and not following my own advice and keeping my game plan focused. Because of this very reason, it took me 2000 games back in season six to reach diamond for the first time. Yes, that is a lot of games and I was highly addicted. It definitely does not have to take you that long. You just have to avoid the mistakes that I made when I was grinding. In order to grind well, you need to do a couple of things. The first is you need to have a quality warm up. You need to review your game plan in queue or in champion select, and you need to only play a small amount of games depending on the outcome or how tilted you are. A quality warm up is just a normal game, maybe a smurf game or an ARAM just to get your hands warmed up and to dial in your brain. I personally like ARAM because it makes me practice my spacing and gets me focused on skill shot dodging and other movements. This is important because you want to get rid of the cobwebs from your last rank session so that you can be fresh and perform at your peak to get that 55% win rate or higher. The second is that I'll review my game plan in the lobby when I pick one of my two champions. If my team needs engage, I'll pick Maokai. And if we have engage plus a favorable matchup, I'll pick Fiora. After that, I'll look at the top jungle matchup to see what the enemy jungler will likely do. If it's a Master Yi, he probably will full clear and I can be more aggressive in lane without worrying about getting ganked early. But let's say I'm against, say, an Elise. I need to be very careful and maybe I don't try and cheat a recall because I could get ganked after three camps before three minutes. When you spam game after game after game, you lose your ability to think about the game critically and you resort back to your habits and muscle memory. And if you're in a low rank, you probably can't rely on that if you want to climb. So you need to be actively focusing on your game plan. So once you warm up, Focus really hard for two to three games, then after that you should probably take a break, especially if two or all of those games were losses. Go outside, take a soft mental reset, and then repeat the process. If you spam games like I did five seasons ago, you're not going to see the results that you want. You might finally get to diamond, but not in a timely manner, and especially not in 30 days. What would it take to realistically get diamond in 30 days? Well, we probably can't play 500 games, but we do need to play a lot in order to get from silver 2 to diamond 4, so we're going to need to play 10 games a day, which is 300 games total. And you'll need to win 175 of those games, which would put you at a 58.3% win rate, which is actually pretty attainable. And if you need longer, then stretch it out over multiple months or even multiple seasons because your MMR is only soft reset at the beginning of each season. I hope you gained some insight for your journey to Diamond and reaching the top 1% of players. And as always, it has been Snowda. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.